Hello everyone, so I want to do a haul video. I don't know how quick this haul video will be. I did try to get most of the stuff out of bags, so that way there's not too much crinkling noise, but there will be some stuff that's in bags. Um, so, yeah. I've got a new, to me, um, craft that I'm going to be doing, and it is going to be crocheting. So, I've got two of the big jumbo red heart super saver things in white and red. And this is from Walmart. And then, um, what I'm doing with them what my purpose is, is to make these little tiny red hearts and to put a cross in them, and this is from Amazon, a cross in them to, um, to make prayer hearts at church. So I bought that, I got um, crochet hook set in uh, bamboo and then one in plastic by Susan Boyer and my iron brand. So got those two. Um, then I got this one in jumbo stripes. Uh, this one which is uh, Walmart brand. I wanted to try it out. Mainstay. And this one is another Red Heart. And then this one, which is so cool. Look at all those colors. I love it. I love it. And then I also got from Lion Brand Hometown got red and black. If they have white, I would have picked up a white one too, but they didn't. They probably do online. I just haven't looked. So I got those two. Those are super soft. Um, as far as what they are, this is a super bulky, number six, super bulky, 100% acrylic. Um, these are Uh, medium number four, 100% acrylic as well. So I got those from Walmart and then going back to sewing. Dude, I'm not giving up sewing. I love sewing. I just needed the prayer heart thing and it kind of blew up in there. But going back to sewing, I got these two. I got the stripes or the strips and the, the squares. Um, then I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up again one of their they call it princess yarn I don't know it's kind of really thin it's 100% acrylic it doesn't say what size hook to use with it but I would imagine a 4.5 or even smaller um, but this is Dollar Tree's brand. And then I got a 5.5, 5, and a 4.5 hook to try out their hooks to see if I like them. <sighs> okay, so that was that. And then I got from Amazon crochet techniques and tips to learn the basics. I do know how to do the basics. I just um, don't know stitches very well. Then I got this little kit that came in this bag and it has some snips which I hate those ones. They did come with some um, stitch markers 
and then it came with some darning needles and then 2.029 millimeter crochet hooks with the rubberized or silicone, whatever it is, band. It also came with a stitch counter, which I don't really like it. It's not even moving. Oh, it's barely moving. It's really hard to move that. I would not like that. Okay. And then... Wait, there's more. I got... A metal crochet set so I can try this out and it comes with some of the basic stuff in here too as the other kit did and this came in this nice little pouch and then I got because I liked the rubberized ones I ended up getting the clover brand ones that are like 40 something dollars but, in my opinion, so far they're worth it. The only thing is that they only go up to a 6mm, I think. Yeah, they only go up to a 6mm, so um, whatever is in this one that is over the 6mm will, will be combined. I found, I bought a... Um, uh, pouch tape for these I it just won't be here till tomorrow then because I was having issues with tension I bought some tension rings so you put them on your finger and you wind the the thread through and it's supposed to help you with the tension then I bought and I can't really tell you all the info because they put stickers all over it but it's red heart and it's that super fine kind of um, thread. I got it in white and in red. Some little hearts I did. Then from also from Amazon, I bought this set, and this has. I'm going to assume they're bamboo hooks. They don't really say they're a Chinese brand. But um, I got the kit mainly because of the bowl to put stuff in. To put the yarn in. So. Got that from Amazon. I spent a small fortune on stuff. Then from Joanne's. I got a giant. I got. Oh, I also bought um, a Furls crochet hook from Amazon because you can buy them on Amazon. And I did not like it. I did not like the acrylic of the Furls hook. I want to try one of the Odyssey ones to see if maybe the Odyssey one will be better, but. We'll see. Um, so I got some jumbo stitch counters. Got a size 19 millimeter hook, 15.75, and then 30 millimeter hook. And I got those because some of these are like this one is a brunette blanket extra. And it is 100% polyester, a giant, or jumbo number seven, um, and it requires a 15 millimeter hook. 
and that's from Joann's. And then I got also from jo Joann's extra thick from Burnett. Burnett. Um, and this is requires a 25 millimeter hook. I'm going to try the 30 millimeter hook because that's what I have. And then if that doesn't work, then I ordered a 25 millimeter hook also. And then, last but not least, I got four of these because they were on clearance. I want to say that they were like four dollars a piece. But these are kind of like um, striking. It's Lion brand. Um, and these are size 5 bulky, so it requires a 10.5 hook. Um, but look at the colors. Like, I love the colors. So that was it for all the crochet stuff. For sewing stuff, I got this half panel for Texas from Etsy. Um, I got this I'm thinking as a background fabric and this as a backing fabric to make this pattern here in a lap size. And I got a little bit too much of each fabric but I'll have some extra so that's fine. And then, last but not least, I got some more um, seam rippers. So I got this one and this one. I don't remember the name of it, but it's not so pretty. And then, this one to match my new Singer Featherweight. And then this one, which is called Halloween. Or I think it's called Halloween which is really really cool looking so that's my haul that's everything that I got from all the different places I need to find the storage solution for some of these or all of these um, because I don't have space in my sewing room but I need to find space because it's a lot so far Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.